Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I've started making videos again. I'm so excited. Me too, Brookie. You're my best friend. I want to see you make amazing videos on YouTube. Starting with this one. That's right, guys. Today we're playing Never Have I Ever. And the first question is, never have I ever fallen off a chair? Oh, man. I've fallen off a chair so many times. How about you, Brookie? Well, you're just going to have to wait and see. Oh, so many I haves. So many. All of us voted I have. Guys, these are some of our fans in the Star Squad. They decided to play with us today. Never have I ever traveled out of the country. Ooh, do you know the answer for this for me? Yeah, you totally have. You've gone to England and Canada and... Whoa, you haven't gone outside the country, Brookie. I know. Maybe sometime I could go on a cruise with you guys. <gasps> Remember when you guys went to Costa Rica? Yeah, we went to the rainforest. That was awesome. Never have I ever met a celebrity. Um, well, I am a celebrity and I meet myself every morning when I look in the mirror and I brush my teeth. Well, I'm not a celebrity on YouTube yet. What are you talking about, Brooke? You have almost 20,000 subscribers. I think you're a celebrity. Well, also my BFF is a celebrity, so I had to choose I have. Never have I ever been in a physical fight. Um, no, I've never been in a physical fight. Although my bully at school, Sarah, drives me nuts. I never have been in a physical fight. What? Brookie, you have? Um, yeah, I have brothers. <laughs> and one time they pulled my hair and so I tied their shoes together. Whoa, Brookie! Never, wait, I, never have I ever been pretended to be sick to skip school. Um, confession time. Molly, that's so naughty. Yeah, I know, but my mom caught me and then I got grounded for like a month. Never have I ever made a YouTube video. I can't wait to see what the fans say about this. Yeah, well, I know your answer, Brookie. Oh, oh, wait, Brookie, what? You've never made a YouTube video? Are you serious? <laughs> Pranked you. Never have I ever been to a concert. No, I've never been to a concert before. I have. Um, My baby sister went to see Paw Patrol. Does that count? I went to see some concerts over the summer. Whoa, that's cool, Molly. Anybody I know? Probably not. I never have been to a concert. Whoa, Brookie, you need to get out more. I know, right? And then I could film it so you guys could see it. Never have I ever broken the screen on a phone or tablet. Oh no, I totally have. Actually, um, surprisingly, I never have. I know kids who did, and they like always get in trouble for it. Whoa, we're losing all our fans. Ooh. Where's everyone going? Oh, wait, there she's back. Never have I ever jumped off a swing. Pff, what? Yes, of course I have. Everyone has. Oh my gosh, everyone's dropping like flies around here. Where is everybody going? Um, well, maybe they just have to like go to school or something, Molly. Oh, four I haves. Oh my gosh, guys, that's awesome. Never have I ever fallen off a bike. Come on, guys. If you know how to ride a bike, you have fallen off of it. Don't lie. Don't lie. I know this fan is going to tell the truth, right? Brookie! What? I went right from training wheels to knowing how to ride my bike. It's the truth. I'm very athletic. You've never fallen off a bike ever. I think you're a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Never have I ever had stitches. Never. I mean, not in real life. In Brookhaven, I have and stuff, but I have. Okay, so you've never fallen off a bike, but you've had stitches? Um, yeah, I fell off my pogo stick. <laughs> oh boy, my best friend is something else. Never have I ever watched an entire television series in a day. Um, no, I have. I just watched Wednesday all in one day. What? You did? Yeah, I totally binge watched it while um, I was on Christmas break. It was amazing. I have too, Molly. <laughs> I love watching shows. It's like my favorite thing to do, especially in the winter when it's cold and I can't really go outside. Never have I ever had something too spicy. One time I had something spicy. It was so spicy that I burped 
and it caught my nose hairs on fire. What? What are you talking about, Molly? Seriously, I, I did. It was so hot that it was like, kind of like barf came up my nose. Ew, gross. Never have I ever waved to someone I thought was waving at me, but wasn't. No, I never did that. Why would you do that? Because they thought you thought they were waving at you. Guys, we just got disconnected. So now we're playing with some new fans. Um, Never have I ever spent more than $100 on one item of clothing. Um, Yes, I did once because we were going where it was really cold. And I got snow pants, boots, a new coat. I, you know, I got like all of it. So I have spent more than $100 on an outfit. Brookie, you fashionista. Well, you know, when it comes to the school dance, your dress usually costs more than $100. Never have I ever choked on water. Like, look, I think everyone's choked on water once in their life. Even though you know how to breathe and you know how to swallow water, you just like choke on it for no reason. It's really kind of dumb, actually. Yeah, I mean, how long do you have to be on this planet before you learn how to just swallow water appropriately? <laughs> exactly those two fans down there are actually cheating because they have choked on water i know they have never have i ever been stung by a bee oh man how about you brookie you'll have to wait to see my answer how about you molly oh i totally have gotten stung by a bee it hurt so bad it was right under my arm like by my armpit it like just flew up my sweater and like stung me and it was the winter like what was a bee doing in the winter never have i ever broken something in a store dun 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 all right guys i'm like a bull in a china shop you ever hear of that i'm um, saying yeah i've broken lots of things because i'm really clumsy not me i'm nimble and agile like a fox never have i ever laughed so hard i spit out my drink well, I know that's not true because almost every day at lunch um, in the cafeteria, I make you spit out your food or your drink because you're laughing so hard. I'm a funny best friend like that. You totally are. Guys, if you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please hit subscribe. I want to play this game with you guys too. Come on. And I play this game a lot with my friends. Never have I ever made a YouTube video. All right, Brookie, you already answered this once. Don't lie this time. Ah, <sighs> we'll just have to see what I say. Oh my gosh, there's other people who have made YouTube videos besides us, Brookie. Except for this girl. She's never made a YouTube video. That's okay. Not everybody is a star. Some people are other things that are awesome, like doctors or whatever. Never have I ever had stitches. No, not in real life. Bar, you could be like, um, if you're not a YouTuber, you could be a doctor, you could be a nurse, you could be a lawyer. What else could they be? You could be a plumber, you could be an electrician, you could be a school bus driver. Yeah, there's so many things you could be. Never have I ever had something too sp- Oh my gosh, they're asking us the same questions! Oh me? No, never. Now you guys have to try to remember if this is what I answered before. And then comment below if I'm lying right now. All right, guys, let's see if you think I'm lying or not lying. <laughs> this game just got a little bit more interesting. All right, Molly, one, oh wait, no, we already answered this one. Let's skip this one. Last question, guys. Never have I ever tried to get out of sports class. Um, is this a trick question? <laughs> Molly, you try to get out of gym every single time we have it. Yeah, because I'd rather spend all of my time in eating class. <laughs> Oh, Molly, I love gym class. It's my favorite. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching my channel today. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of videos you would like me to like make for you guys because I want to make all these videos on my YouTube channel, and I want you guys to love them, so let me know which ones you want to see. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you amazing fans next time. Bye! <laughs>
You're better than I thought, but I still like you. I think you're amazing. All right, let's spin that wheel, Wednesday. You can go first. Some of these are ridiculous. Stand on the school bathroom toilet. That's right, stand on the school bathroom toilet. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? You got stand on the school bathroom toilet. <laughs> okay, well, I guess that's the one you have to do then. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't touch any colors. Uh, how am I going to get over to the school? Uh, oh my gosh. Well, white's not really a color. Don't touch that yellow Wednesday or you'll be out and I will have the opportunity to win this round. Don't worry, I'm not going to lose. Oh my gosh, how am I going to cross the street? Is black a color? Not really. We won't count black or white as colors in this game, okay? Because that just would make it impossible. Exactly. Even though I think black really is a color. No, I meant colorful colors. You're just so much like my roommate Enid, I swear. Uh, what about red? Yep, red is a color. What about gray? Uh-huh, gray is also a color. Well, I can't get up to the bathroom then. Okay, maybe if I just... Uh, 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 uh. You touched red, you ow! Oh, man. I can't believe I lost. Well, Dizzy, I guess it's your turn. I am going to do awesome at this game. I just know it. Come on, make it an easy one. Make it an easy one, Real. Come on. You're probably going to get standing in the toilet like I did. Home to watch TV. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. All right, let's do this. Are we starting at the park every single time? Of course. I think that just makes it fail. Remember, we can step on black and white but not any bright colors. Got it. Come on, Thing. We have to try to win this game. Wait, what do we win? You win a million Robux. Holy guacamole. Whoa, my sister says that. She does? I guess your sister's really cool. Uh-oh, I can't walk up the stairs. I can, because it's not my turn. Um, let's see. Um, eh, I think it's going to be too hard if you don't actually, well, if you don't actually, uh, able to walk on gray, too. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, no, I stepped on green! Oh, my gosh, this game is too hard. Really? Do you think so? Maybe we need to make the rules a little easier. Like, you can also step on gray, because that's not a bright color. Okay, yeah, that does seem pretty fail. Should we start over? Oh, wait, we'll do four rounds. Is that okay? Fine by me. Let's go back to the park, and you can step on white, black, or gray, but no bright color. Yeah, because otherwise we can't even do this. It's too hard. Let's try again. You know, Daisy, rules were meant to be broken. Um, that's not really my motto in life, but this time I think, well, the rules just make it impossible. Four rounds. You against me. And, well, my pet thing. I wonder which one you're going to get. Oh, my gosh. It's so exciting. Nothing's exciting to me. Ooh, diner, eat food. This one I could be good at. Well, then you're more like my sister than I ever thought. Okay, just be careful, Wednesday. Don't step on any colors except for black, white, and gray. Got it. So far, I don't see any... Wait, what about brown? Um, well, um... This game is impossible. Why am I hanging out with you today? Just don't step on it. Okay, you're still good. You're still good. You're standing on the trash can. You're good, and that's black. Okay, um, don't move any closer, though, because you'll be standing right on that brown. Whoa, you totally jumped into that seat. Wait, are you sitting on brown? No, I didn't poop my pants. No, I meant the color brown. Oh, man, you sat on the dino chair. Now you're out. What? I didn't even see that. I think brown should be included. You just keep wanting to break all the rules, Wednesday. That's not fair. You lost this round. Fail and squeal. Fine, whatever. Let's go back to the park, and, and we'll see how easy it is for you to play this game. I'm gonna be the winner, I just know it. I'm gonna be the winner, I just know it. Stand on school bathroom toilet. This one's impossible. No, it's not. Well, are you ready for this? 
Nice touch with that music. Thank you very much. I love music. All right, let's go stand in the bathroom toilet, guys. Let's not touch any colors. I want to beat Wednesday at this game really bad. Okay, so far, all I see is gray. That's allowed. And the stairs are gray, also allowed. Oop, I didn't touch any white. Uh-oh. You touched a color. You touched blue. But I had to in order to go into the bathroom. Uh, maybe you're right. Maybe this game is impossible. Whatever. I'm just going to go chill out and read a book. No, Wednesday, come on. I know one of us can win at least one of these rounds. <laughs> Ew, Wednesday. It wasn't me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just had to go poo-poo. Ew, gross. I really need to win at least one round of this. We can't be friends anymore. Really? No, we were never friends to start with. Eat something in the school cafeteria. <gasps> you might actually win this one Wednesday. You might! If I want to die from bad school food. Well, do you want to win or do you want to eat school food? Because if you don't eat the school food, you're going to lose. Fine. Oh, this is going to be disgusting. So far, so good, Wednesday. Just don't touch a color. Not a single color. Uh, duh. I know what the rules are. Okay, I have to get into the school cafeteria without touching any colors. There's a red mat at the front door. Can't touch that. All right, now the school cafeteria is up here. Don't touch that red color. Hmm, is there anything that's not colored that's food? Well, I mean, if it's not touching you and you just swallow it without actually chewing, um, I think, I think maybe. Wait, if you pour the Coca-Cola down my throat, then that is black and I wouldn't be touching the can. Well, that would technically be me helping you to win, but I guess someone has to win this silly game. Okay, Wednesday, here you go. Wednesday, you won a round. Congratulations. This is the most ridiculous game I've ever played. Well, I came up with it, so I guess I'm ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, how many rounds was that? I don't know, but I think it was probably too many. Can we quit now? No! Okay, I have to go to the dino and eat food. All right, I can do this even better than Wednesday. I know it. Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna win this game. Uh, correction, I'm the only one that's won around. Okay, yeah, but I'm probably going to win because I think I could do this one. I didn't do so well at it. Let's see how you do. Okay. Um, I just have to jump from here to somewhere. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa, you actually laughed. I didn't even think that was possible Wednesday. Whoa, she got up onto the counter. But what are you going to eat? Well... Technically, whatever is in that sauce that's in that white bottle. Oh, it's mayonnaise. Um, that's white, so here goes nothing. Ew, you're going to eat mayonnaise all by itself? Gross. Here, you're going to need some Coke to wash that down. No, I can't drink the Coke because that would mean I'd lose. Oh, my gosh. You're going to drink that? Ew, that's so gross. Well, now we're tied. We have to do one more round to see who the winner is. Who, who do you guys think is going to win? Me, Daisy, or Wednesday Adams? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Oh, thanks for the props, Wednesday. Amazing. Let's just get this final round over with. I don't want to embarrass you in front of your fans too much. I hope you get something different, Wednesday, not the same old, same old. Me too. I like a new challenge. Get an ice cream from ice cream parlor. Ooh, that's a new one. So remember, if you lose this round, that means I have the chance to be the winner. How many colors are in this place? I don't even know. <gasps> the floor is black and white. Okay, this is great. What? <gasps> they have a vanilla. That means you're gonna win. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, you touched the brown cone. 
That means I have the chance to be the winner. What? That's not even fair. How am I supposed to eat ice cream without the cone? Um, well, you could have gotten it in a dish. Ugh, oh, this game is so frustrating. La, 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 la. Spin the wheel. La, 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 la. Spin the wheel. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Go to school and write on teacher's board. Oh, I'm so nervous. Am I gonna win? If you win, this will be the worst game ever. Well, that's just because you're a sore loser. <laughs> At least you won a cheater. Exactly. If I win, it's going to be fair and square. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, all I have to do is not touch any colors and write on the teacher's board. And I am the winner. All right, which board should I write on? Um, not that one. That, oh my gosh, they all have blue doors. <laughs> Can you go in through the window? Will you open the door for me Wednesday, please? Sorry, Brookhaven doesn't work that way. I can't. Oh my gosh! Looks like we're tied forever. <laughs> Can I call you to play another game tomorrow? No. How about the next day? No. How about the next day? How about never? <laughs>
What's the best advice you've ever received? Um, uh, 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 um, if you didn't do your homework, say your unicorn ate it. <laughs> oh, Molly, that's pretty funny. But I'm not sure the teacher would believe you. Yeah, I have an actual unicorn, so they will believe it. <laughs> My answer is hilarious. Um, don't spit into the wind because it'll come back and it'll spit right in your face. Um, I, I, I was really trying, but I couldn't think of anything. Don't leave your bike out um, on the track because if you do, um, someone um, might steal it from you. Um, well, I'm going to say I want that one. Sorry. I know why I didn't win because I couldn't think of anything good. What? I won? Yes! But that wasn't even good. I mean, seriously, don't spit into the wind. That's so cliche. Tell an embarrassing thing you did in public. Uh, nothing really embarrasses me. Oh, yeah. Um, one time, my pants ripped when I was at school. <laughs> my booty was so hanging out. Everyone could see that I was wearing unicorn underwear. It was really embarrassing. Yeah, Molly, for you. I was laughing hysterically. That was super funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, laughing at my expense. Nice, Daisy, nice. <laughs> it was super funny. My most embarrassing moment. I was too busy laughing at Molly. Wow, these you're going to lose. I puked in the toilet at Lowe's once. <laughs> Why? I ate bad pizza. Um, uh, I don't really want to talk about my most embarrassing moment. Brookie, really? I, 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 um, uh, one time I, I farted really loud in front of a boy I liked. Oh, man. Well, I won, but that's pretty good, Brookie. You shouldn't be embarrassed about your farts, though. Farting happens. <laughs> what would you change about yourself? Um... Uh, I can't think of anything. Um, okay, got it. Trying to figure out how to make my sisters do my chores. Molly, that's not something you would change about yourself. I wish I was a little bit taller. Wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was smarter. I wish that my sisters would, would do all my chores. That's what I'd change about myself. It's not even a real answer. I wish I could have a new sister. <laughs> Daisy! Oh my gosh, that's just rude. I'm voting for myself. Yeah, you would, Molly. You would. I agree. You do need a new sister, Daisy. Yeah. What? You guys would get rid of me? I'm part of this group. Just kidding, Molly. How useful would you be in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> I would fart at them, of course. And that would make them fall over dead. Yeah, that one I could agree with you on, Molly. Your farts are toxic. <laughs> oh, that's why Molly's my bestie. Because she talks about farts and it's pretty hilarious. Every answer you've given has pretty much been about a fart. I'd rule the world, so I'd be totally fine. I'd have a science experiment to cure them all. I'd be okay, I think, because I'd hang out with Daisy. I'd be totally worthless. I'd run. I'd fart at him! And that would give you guys time to escape. <laughs> I'm going to vote for Luke because I feel like his answer was, like, so honest. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. Uh, I mean, it's the truth. I, I'm not very good at, like, escaping zombie apocalypses. What? I win? I would fart at them? Yeah, that's a good answer. You guys know it. What makes you most upset? Oh, this is easy. Um, actually, it's between this and this. <laughs> My sister and homework. Amazing sister. Yeah, right, Daisy. I don't know. I can't answer that one. No homework is so awful. Yeah, okay. Well, the worst thing for me is my sister and homework. Yeah, whatever, Molly. No chips. Chips are life. Chips are life. Doritos are my favorite. Um, yeah, I'm voting for Luke. That just gives you a crush on me. No, I don't. That's not true. He's my friend. Wait, what? Um, excuse me, but we're not on a date here. This is all for us friends to hang out. Um, yeah, but, um, okay, who won that one? I didn't even see. I was too busy thinking about how Molly has a crush on me. Well, wait, wait. What's the most dangerous thing you've ever done? Um, 
Okay, this is cray cray. Don't do this at home, guys. I swung on the ce ceiling fan one time and I flew around like crazy. If you guys are old school Star Squad fans, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Molly, I think you got grounded for at least a month after that. Yeah, you're probably right. That was pretty insane of me. <laughs> um, well, my answer is I don't know. My answer is a burrito. Wait, what? A burrito? What are you talking about? Okay, I, I don't know what's going on, but what? why is the, the craziest thing you ever did a burrito? Uh, actually, it was because I was really hungry, and it's all I could think about. Uh, you cut through your neighbor's yard? Yeah, it was it was scary. Yeah, none of those things are actually scary. And Daisy, you're such a goody two-shoes, you couldn't even think of anything. Oh, yeah, she has a point, too. <laughs> yes, I win again! All right, guys, one more round, and we're going to see who wins. Um, So far, I have the most points. Which weather is better, sunny or snowy? Oh, gosh. Uh, bleh, uh. I'm going to pick sunny. And the reason why is because if it's sunny, it's probably summer, which means we're not in school. <laughs> Molly, I miss school so much. I mean, summer vacation, it's beautiful and all, but school? How could I ever compete with how amazing that is? Oh, my gosh. My sister loves school way too much. Okay, I pick sunny. I pick snow. I love snowboarding. It's so much fun. Um, I pick snow too. I love it when it's snowing out. You guys are cray cray. I pick snow. I pick snow because I love school so much. Could somebody please vote for Pookie? I feel bad for her because she's only got one point. Oh, thanks, Daisy. You really should be my BFF. I win. Yes. Um, actually, I win because I have five points. Tell a scary paranormal experience. Okay, bonus round, bonus round. Um, <laughs> watch this, guys. The ghost that lives in Daisy's closet. Wait, what? What did you say, Molly? There's a ghost that lives in my closet? Are you pranking me? No, I went in there to borrow a pair of your socks because, you know, I never do my laundry. And I heard, ooh, ooh. And then I saw it. A creepy gross a ghost that was insane. Um, guys, I'm a little afraid right now. <laughs> you should be. Molly, I, 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 I. No one can even answer. They're so scared by the ghost in the closet. I'm too scared. I'm just too scared right now. <laughs> okay, um, everybody vote for me then. No way, then you'll get the bonus round, too. I'm voting for Luke. Won't matter. Still gonna win. Still gonna win. <laughs> Six to three to two to one. I win! Yes! Guys, thanks so much for watching us play um, Roblox Exposed. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye! This is where we go to gymnastics class. Whoa, this place looks amazing. Yeah, we've been learning so many things. Leaps and turns, tumbling. Yeah, it's been so much fun. But the first thing we have to do is get ready for class. What do you do to get ready for class? The first thing you have to do is put on your gymnastics outfit. And there's a lot to choose from, so you can decide which one you like best. Oh, whoa, look at this one with the flames on it. Holy guacamole, that is so cool. That's definitely the one that I want. Let me have it! Okay, maybe this one's broken, I'm not sure. No, no, nope, it wasn't broken, it worked. <laughs> I figured it out. And now I look adorable for my gymnastics class. Um, Molly, I think that I'm gonna be really awesome at gymnastics. You totally are. Whoa, Pookie, your hair looks beautiful. And I love your gymnastics outfit. Thanks, Molly. You're my best friend. You always say nice things about me. Hey, guys. What's up? Good morning. It's time for the best gymnastics class ever. Come on, Molly. Let's go in and get started. Whoa, Daisy, your outfit's, um, too much like mine. Change it. Molly, it's nothing like yours. It's got, like, a flower on it, and it's pink. Yours has flames. Okay, it sort of looks like flames. 
It's a daisy. Ah, where are your clothes? You definitely need to wear clothes to gymnastics class. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do, Brookie, is warm up because if you don't warm up, you could get injured and even worse. What's worse than getting injured, Molly? Your brain might melt. Molly, that's not even true. <laughs> Uh, I like to stretch before I have an amazing gymnastics workout. Then I do some handstands, you know, stuff like that. Okay, well, I think we're pretty warmed up. I feel warmed up. I feel like I can do anything. All right, well, let's see what you can do. Uh, let's go over here and see if you can walk on this. Because if you can, you don't lose your balance and fall. You're already, like, doing pretty good at gymnastics. Just like that, Brookie. Okay, you try. Okay, Molly. Um, how'd I do? Awesome! Now you could try to do something on it. Like, um, maybe you do want to do a handspring? It's kind of like a, a somersault in the air. See? Like that. Okay, uh, let me try now. Um, well, that was a good try. How about a cartwheel? Molly, gymnastics is harder than I thought it would be. Aww. Don't worry, Brookie. You're going to get this. I know you will. Whoa, good job. Brookie, you're doing so awesome. It makes me want to spin around. Oh, Molly, are you going to sing this entire gymnastics class? Probably. I love to sing. <laughs> well, well, well. Who do we have here? Um, Molly and Brookie, we go to school with you, so I'm pretty sure you know who we are. Yeah, but I was talking more about these losers in my gymnastics class. Hey, we're not losers, are we, Brookie? Um, actually, on the contrary, I've been doing amazing. I'm a beginner, but I'm doing awesome. I don't think so. You probably look like a total noob. No, she doesn't. She's doing great, so don't talk to her that way, okay? If you're gonna be a bully, just, you know, go over there, okay? I don't think so. I work out here. Um, well, we're on this bar right now. I don't care. This is where I work out. Oh, we can just go somewhere else. No, we can't go somewhere else. We have to, we have to go here because this is where we decided to work out. She probably can't even do gymnastics anyway. So why is she taking up all this space in the gymnastics practice room? I can do gymnastics. I, I totally can. You don't have anything to prove to Sarah. She's just being a bully. Don't listen to her. No, I'm, I'm good at gymnastics. I mean, at least I'm sort of getting good at it. You probably can't even do a middle split leap. Um, Ricky, don't try a middle split leap. That's, that's... That's not for a beginner. I can do it, Molly. I can do it. Um, okay. But be careful. No pressure, Brookie. Um, but everyone from class is kind of watching you right now. Oh, um, all right. Well, um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be great at this, right? You don't have to do this, Brookie. You don't have to prove anything to Sarah. Um, yeah, I know, but I'm going to be great at gymnastics. You just wait and see. Wow, Brookie, you're doing awesome. She's all right, I guess. What are you talking about? Look at her. She just started gymnastics today, and she's doing amazing. You don't have to do any of the harder moves, though, Brookie. I want to, Molly. I'm doing amazing, and this will show Sarah. Okay, honey. Everything's going to be okay. I promise. They're going to fix your leg perfectly here. Um, my friend is in so much pain. We need to get her on the stretcher and get her into the hospital right away. Don't worry, I'm on it. Brookie, Brookie, are you okay? Do I look okay? Oh, my leg. Brookie, you shouldn't have listened to Sarah. She's just a troublemaker and you were doing so good, but you can't do gymnastics moves before you're ready. I just thought I could do that because I'm so athletic and oh, my leg. Well, even the most, the most athletic person still has to learn what they're doing before they do it. Um, hello everyone. I'm Dr. Smith. I'll be taking care of Brookie Cookie this morning. Oh my gosh, doctor, help her, help her! Oh, the pain, it hurts so much. 
Okay, Brookie, everything's going to be fine. I need to get you in for an x-ray. So tell me what happened. Um, we were in gymnastics class. It was Brookie's first day. This bully tried to pressure her into doing moves she wasn't ready to do. And, well, she gave in to the pressure because she didn't want to look like a total noob. And then she fell off the bar and, I guess, hurt her leg or whatever. Oh my, that sounds serious. Okay, well, let's get her into x-ray. Okay, dear, I need you to lay down, please. And this won't hurt a bit. Are you sure? I've never had an x-ray before. Everything's going to be just fine. Now let's see what's going on with that leg. Is it broken, Doctor? Is it broken? Oh, I'm, I'm afraid it is. You're going to need surgery. What? Surgery? No! You don't understand. I don't want surgery. I can't go back to gymnastics then for months and months. Well, I'm very sorry, but it's what's needed for fixing your leg. You should be able to go back to gymnastics about two or three months. Two or three months? Are you kidding me? I don't want surgery. <laughs> Brookie, I know you don't, but this is what you need to do to fix your leg. And Daisy and I will be here as soon as you wake up. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Why are you telling us good luck? Don't you need the good luck? You're the one doing the surgery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little nervous. Wait, what? Why are you nervous? Oh, this is the first leg surgery I've done. Say what? <laughs> Don't worry, I went to medical school. Uh, that sounds a little crazy. Okay, Brookie, I'm going to give you a shot. And it's going to make you very sleepy. Then you're going to take a night-night and we're going to fix that leg. Ready? I uh, guess. <coughs> now I need you to count down from 100. Do you have an axe? Oh, no, no, no. That's not an axe. You're just dreaming that. Am I asleep already? I wonder when Brookie's gonna get back. I'm so worried about her. I'm sure Dr. Smith knows what she's doing, Molly. Brookie, you're back! Are you okay? Ugh, oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, I think that's just the anesthesia. Once it wears off, you should feel a lot better. Do you want some ice cream? Not yet, Molly, but maybe later. I think I just wanna go back to sleep. Okay, well. Me and Daisy will come back and check on you soon, okay? Okay, how about like in an hour or two? All right, Brookie, I'm glad you're okay. Me too, Molly, me too. <laughs>channel i'm brookie cookie and today i'm gonna to be playing escape miss anitron's detention and guys um i heard this game is really hard but i'm up for the challenge so let's see if i can escape miss anitron i will not annoy miss anitron i will not annoy miss anitron i have to admit she is pretty creepy pull the fire alarm lever okay we've got to create a distraction guys what? It shorted out Miss Anitron? Okay, now she's going to be totally psycho. I can just see it on her face. Wait, are, the, are the lights going out? No! Okay, I don't want the lights to go out because um, I just, I feel like Miss Anitron's going to be chasing me. And I don't, I don't like that at all. Well, so far, I don't see her though, which I think is probably a good sign. I hear something creepy though. I definitely hear something creepy. What? It's barricaded? Wait, who's that? Ah! It's Miss Anitron! Oh my god, that was so scary. OMG! Okay, I'm gonna go this way again, but I'm gonna pick a different way to go. Like, maybe I should go this way. Uh oh, no, wrong way! Oh! Okay, I definitely shouldn't go that way. Alright, one last time. Do I have somebody else that's trying to escape detention too? Trust me, do not go left. She is crazy. Two will definitely kill you if you go left. Um, <laughs> wait a minute. I think I went the wrong way. Oh no. Wait, is this the right way? I, I don't know. I can't even see because Miss Anitron's hair is in my way. Um, why are you just standing there? She's gonna kill you. <laughs> Oh my god. No! It just took me in a big circle! 
cute crazy crazy lady well i don't think she's a lady she's 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 a robot <laughs> a miss uh, like a misfiring one too she's crazy there has to be a way out of here i just don't know what it is and i don't want to be stuck with this crazy lady forever okay i went straight oh my god i see an arrow guys I think straight was definitely the way. Oh my gosh, there's a vent. There's a vent. There's a vent. Yes! Goodbye, crazy lady. Boing, boing. Okay. This part. Oh my gosh, I just died. Oh, I hope it saved. So I do not want to escape Miss Anitron again. Oh, it did good. Oh, that was so scary. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, finally I made it. Lasers! Yeah, this game is kind of creepy, and I can see why people were saying this Abby was harder than some of the other Roblox ones. Oh my gosh! Look at the giant teeth that try to chomp, chomp you. Ah! It totally did. Oh, my head's in outer space. <laughs> I like, I like when you die in Roblox games and your head goes into outer space. Like, you're not even in the game anymore. It's just you're a goner. <laughs> you're up in Mars. Free falling. Whoa, go! Oh my gosh, this fan goes really fast. I'm gonna get it past this. I'm gonna run really fast. Ugh. Then I hit my head. Oh, look. It's gym class. Oh, wow. This person is shooting me with fire. That a flamethrower. You're. Ow! You. You. S stop setting me on fire. That is rude. Okay, he. Guys, I don't know what to do because another player is just being so mean to me right now. Stop it! Okay, he's chasing someone else. Maybe I can get by him now. Rude. You belong in this Anatron's detention. Yeah, she's gonna take you out. Oh my gosh, he set me on fire again! <laughs> People are so rude. I'm gonna need to get myself a flamethrower, I think. If that guy... What is that? It's Pennywise's balloon! O-M-G. Oops, I accidentally touched the sewer water. I had no idea in this game that other players could, like, kill you. That just seems wrong. As if it's not hard enough to escape Miss Anitron's attention. Now I have somebody who's trying to, like, bully me in the game. Rude! I'm not saying I'm a noob or anything, but I didn't even know you could do that in this game. Hooray! Oh, more ladders. I'm definitely gonna need a cupcake after this one. Beware of the duck? What duck? I don't see a duck. And since when are- Oh my god, look at that duck! Ah, that was so creepy! Okay, there is definitely a giant killer duck down in the sewers, guys. Um... Why am I following the band Nirvana? I'm <laughs> just kidding. It's another player. Do you even know who the band Nirvana is? Slam the like button if you do, because I, I think this person must, since they called themselves Nirvana. I don't know where that evil duck went. Oh, no, he's right behind me. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I'm not sure if Nirvana got out alive. Wait, what's that sound? What? What a trick. They tried to get me by by sending those spikes through me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! No, I didn't make it! Oh, bad timing. It's okay, it's okay, guys. I'm totally gonna make it. Yes! I think. <laughs> okay, there's the spikes. Go, go, go! Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> now I have to go again. Yes! Um, I don't feel like I'm in Miss Anatron's detention anymore. Oh, why won't this door open? I need to get through. Ooh, lasers. Nope, I'm still in the school. Wait, what's that say? Leave? Karen, I'm so sorry. Love, John. <laughs> Karen, John still loves you! It says on this wallet school. Bear traps? Really, Miss Anitron? I think you're really just trying to be... The craziest person on the planet. Well, you're not even a person. You're a robot. Go to art class. 
The door won't open. How am I gonna go? Avoid the mannequins? Um, does anyone else think this is very creepy? Look at that painting. Um, okay, I guess some people think that's art. Oh my gosh, I'm outside. Okay, how do I get out of here? Like, do I have to go back in the school? Because I don't want to. I don't want to! Oh, whoa. Oh gosh! How did this happen? OMG! No, why are you following me? There's gotta be a way out, right? Right? Guys, I don't think there's a way out of this room. I don't think there's a way out. Ah! Oh my gosh, there was definitely not a way out of there. Okay, note to self, don't fall on that glass because it's definitely a death trap. Walk around the window. Go through the doors. Yeah, that'll help me escape. I'm sure of it. Uh, uh, I can never get through the doors. Those doors are making me feel a little chubby right now. Guys, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe to my channel right now. Go through the cafeteria. Sometimes you just need your friends to support you. And I know you guys are my friends, so don't forget to subscribe, okay? What's that noise? Oh my god, there's a crazy robot chef after me. Are you serious right now? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think I have to go back here. Oh my gosh, she's right behind me. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, I made it. OMG, I can't believe I made it through that part without dying. Swim. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I love when games have swimming sections. I think it's really fun. I don't know, I just like to swim in real life, so I think that's why. Whoa, this part's like really long. Good thing I can hold my breath for like 10 minutes in Roblox. <laughs> Time to swim up. Where do you think I'll be, still in the sewer? Oh no, I'm in the, the school's pool. And another door I'm too chubby to fit through. Wait, what? Is there any other doors in here? Okay, that door was just locked. Just kidding, I'm too chubby to fit through this one too. Oh my goodness. What's it say? Get to the bus? Oh my God, guys, I'm outside. I've almost escaped. This is super good news. Oh God, no. All of the scary monsters that were after me are in this thing. This pi final part of the game! Ah! Oh my gosh, now here comes the chef too? Are you serious? I just need to get on the bus! Let me on the bus! Let me on the bus! OMG, guys! I made it on the bus! Hooray! Okay, um, can somebody pull the bus away? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I made it! Goodbye, evil detention at all you crazy, crazy like malfunctioning robots. I hope I never get to go to school with you ever again. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. In this Brookhaven mini movie, Molly is an orphan that needs to be adopted. But every parent that comes into the adoption center doesn't adopt her. Soon, Molly is an adult and she still doesn't have a family. She is homeless until the kindness of a stranger changes her life forever. But will Molly finally get a family? Watch to the end of this video to find out. And guys, don't forget to slam that like button and comment in the comment sections below this video. Guys, we read all of your comments. Ugh, this crib is so... It's so small. Why do I have to keep sleeping in this? Oh, good morning, Molly. I see that you're awake. Good morning, Brittany. Oh, why the sour face, Molly? Because this bed is too small. It's meant for babies. Well, you see, all the other kids at the orphanage have been adopted. And, well, you should have been too by now, but... I don't know, we're just struggling to find you the right family. But don't worry, we're definitely going to find the mom and dad that are perfect for you. I just know it. Uh, speaking of, get up and get ready, Molly. There's a new couple that are coming today to see if you're the perfect fit for their family. Oh, great. Another one to say, Molly isn't right. Molly does this. Molly does that. Molly isn't right for our family. 
<sighs> I think I'll pass, Brittany. Hello, uh, we're here to meet the little girl. Oh, are, are you her? Whoa! Hi, I, I, I'm Molly. Hi, uh, I'm Lieutenant Sean. And um, I'm his wife. My name is Heather. Sean and Heather. Whoa, you're a cop, huh? That's right. <laughs> and we're looking to adopt a beautiful, wonderful, sweet little girl. Do you fit that description? Of course she does, guys. Um, why don't you guys have a special day out just to see, you know, how you guys get along? <sighs> Listen, Brittany, this never works out. Molly, just try your best. I'm sure that they're going to love you. Come on, Molly. Um, we could go to the park if you want. Yeah, Molly, let's do this. Okay, uh, I know the way to the park. I'll show you guys which way to go. So, Molly, tell us a little about yourself. What? What is this, an interrogation? Uh, no, we just wanted to know. I have the right to a lawyer. I, I don't have to tell you anything, cop. Whoa, uh, Molly, we were just trying to get to know you a little bit. Uh-huh, sure, sure you were. Look, uh, I'm gonna go get on the swing, okay? Sounds fun. Okay, Molly, um, be careful. Sure, I totally will be. If I can ever get on this thing, ugh. There we go. Whee! Molly, don't go so high. Yeah, Molly, I rescue kids with broken legs when they go too high on swings all the time. Molly, can you please listen to- Molly, can you listen to me? Oh, boy, she doesn't listen, does she? I don't have to listen, I can do what I want! Whee! Ha -ha! Did you see that jump? Uh, yeah, Molly, it was really scary. I don't know if you should do that when you're at the park. Everything's fine. Now I'm gonna go down the slide. But, Molly, that goes into the pool. Do you know how to swim? Yeah, I can swim okay. Do you have your bathing suit? Because you're gonna get your clothes all wet. Yeah, I don't care. Molly, I don't think it's a good idea. Could you come back here? We could just talk for a little while since, you know, we were thinking about being your parents. Whee! I don't have to listen to anyone. Uh, Molly, I, I think it's time for you to go back to the adoption center. Really? Why? Um, well, Heather and I just decided that, um... We're not ready to adopt yet. Oh, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Bye, Molly. Good luck with your search for your parents. Oh, hey, Molly. How did your day go with, um, with the new adoptive parents? Uh, eh. Oh, no, Molly. Not another one that said no. Well, I was just being myself, like you said. Were you behaving? Um, well, then it wouldn't be myself. Molly, where is your manners? I have pretty good manners. I just didn't do anything that they asked me to. I don't like being interrogated. Ugh, Molly. What are we going to do with you? I don't know, Brittany. I guess I'm going to be stuck at the orphanage forever. Molly, Molly, where, where are you? Molly? Molly, what are you doing on top of the changing table? I'm pretending to be a baby. Why would you do that? Because it seems like since everybody wants a baby and doesn't want me, I'll just pretend to be a baby from now on. Oh, Molly, someone's going to want you just the way you are, I promise. Well, I don't see them lining up to adopt me. Well, it's funny you should say that because I have a new couple out front that's looking to spend the day with you. Really? Maybe I'm finally going to get parents. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi there. <laughs> I'm Rich. And I'm Debbie. Nice to meet you. Rich and Debbie. Uh, nice to meet you, too. Whoa, Debbie, are you a doctor? Uh-huh, I sure am. Whoa, cool. What are we going to do today? Well, we thought we would go get some ice cream. What do you think? Yeah, I love ice cream. Let's do this. Mint chocolate chip, my favorite. Mm. I think these guys could be my mom and dad. And they're going to take me for ice cream? Oh, yeah. Mmm. This mint chocolate chip is delicious. I know, right? It's so good. Would you look at that? We all got the same flavor. Yeah, and it's my favorite, too. Mm. Can't believe I ate all my ice cream already. Well, Rich, uh, I'm going to eat yours, too. What? No, you can't eat my ice cream. Give me that. Mm. Mm, delicious. That Molly, that was rude. Do, do they not teach you any manners at the orphanage? Guess not. When it comes to ice cream, I'm going to eat it all. I'm coming for yours next, Debbie. Molly, don't take my ice cream. Rude. Oh, my gosh. Is she standing on the table eating my ice cream? Um, I think it's safe to say that this one isn't right for us. Well, I knew that was going to be the answer, but 
At least I got to eat all the ice cream. Bye! <laughs> I knew they weren't even going to pick me. They never do. Mm. But I got to eat all six scoops of ice cream. So I'm pretty happy about that. Mm. Delicious. Brittany, Brittany, I'm back. What are you doing? I'm just tidying up the, the adoption center in case we get any new kids in. Wait, where, where are the parents who took you out? They said no, as usual. Also, do you have any Pepto-Bismol? I have a tummy ache. What? Why? Well, I may have eaten six scoops of ice cream. What? They let you eat sk six scoops of ice cream? Are you serious? No, they didn't let me. I just took their ice cream, too. Molly, what are we going to do with you? I'm trying to get you adopted, but you have to help me a little bit here. Okay, fine. I'll try to be on my best behavior. Good. I have a new couple coming tomorrow. I figured I should book a, a more than one couple because, Lord knows, you seem to just, well, be sent back here over and over and over again. But don't worry. I'm going to find the perfect parents for you. I hope so, Brittany. I sure hope so. Whee! I love riding this bike. It's so much fun. I can't believe Brittany got it for me. It's the nicest present anyone has ever given me before. Molly, hello, come inside. <laughs> Brittany, I'm driving in circles around you. Molly, seriously, stop driving in circles around me. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> oh, well, Brittany, oh my gosh, I just ran you over. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Um, yeah, Molly, I'm fine. Ouch, that hurt a little bit, though. Sorry about that. Still learning how to ride a bike. It's okay, Molly. Look, I, I told you tomorrow that we were going to have uh, a new couple coming to see you while they're here. Nah, don't want to meet them. Molly, why? Because everybody says no because I'm just being me and they don't like it. So I'm going to say no to them. Molly, you haven't even met them before. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll meet them. After this one, if they say no, I'd say no. Hey, yeah, I'm at the adoption center. Uh-huh, yep, I'm going to adopt a kid. I know, right? Adopt a kid? These guys look like maybe they're like 22. Hey, what's up? We're here to adopt you and stuff. Oh, my gosh. What's your name? Barry. What's your name? Sherry. Wait a minute. Your name is Barry and Sherry? Barry, Sherry? Seriously? Yeah. You're pranking me, right? Molly, you're running out of options. Give Barry and Sherry a chance, okay? Yeah, come on. We're going to go to the diner. You can order a piece of cake. Well, it doesn't sound all that bad. Okay. Barry and Sherry, let's go. Hmm. This is the best cheeseburger I've ever had. Can I have another one? Sure you can, Molly. Um, excuse me. Can she get another cheeseburger? Coming right up. Hmm. I love these cheeseburgers at Brookhaven Diner. So delicious. So Molly, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, we'd love to get to know you some more. Mm. Maybe I could tell you after I get done eating all these cheeseburgers. I'm hungry. Do they not feed you at the adoption center? Of course they do. I had a piece of pizza before I even came over here. I just like to eat food. Lots and lots of food. Cupcakes, ice cream, pizza. Wow. You sure do eat a lot, huh? I sure do. Mm. kind of feel like I ate too much today, though. Uh-oh! Here comes something special for you guys! Oh. oh my gosh! Did you just stand on the table and fart? Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, okay, it's not funny. I'm dying. Smells bad. Smells bad. Barry, this kid doesn't even know manners. How can we be seen with her? Ugh, she stood on the table and farted. That's so disgusting. Ah, uh, sorry. I was just trying to be funny and lighten the mood. I'm out of here. Come on, Barry. I can't breathe. I'm trying to move, but my lungs won't work. Coming, Sherry. Fine, I didn't want you to tap me anyway, Sherry and Barry. What kind of names are those anyway? They stink. Oh, wow, this is a really good book. I love it. Um, Molly, can you come here a minute? Sorry, Brittany, I'm reading my favorite book again. Oh, I wish the orphanage got new books every once in a while. And the town library doesn't get new ones either. Molly, please come here. I need to talk to you. Okay, what is it, Brittany? 
Well, it's been ten years, and I still haven't found you anyone to adopt you. I failed at my job, Molly. Brittany, don't talk like that. Just because I didn't find a mom and dad yet doesn't mean I won't. Actually, Molly, that's exactly what it means. What? What are you talking about? Well, today's your 18th birthday, and you've aged out of the system. What? What do you mean? It means you can't stay at the orphanage anymore. You're officially a grown-up. What? No, no, I'm not. I don't feel like a grown-up at all. Well, you are. I'm so sorry that I failed you, Molly. But, but this is the only home I've ever known. I know, but it's time for you to move on. But I don't have any family. You can always come back and visit me, Molly. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Oh, when do I have to leave? Well, your 18th birthday is at midnight, so that's when you're expected to go. Oh my gosh, I, I, I never got adopted, and, and, and now I have to leave? This, this is terrible news. How can this be the law? It just is. I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. Remember, if you need any help, you can always come back. How about a place to live? That would be helpful. Sorry, can't do that. How about some food? That would be helpful. Sorry, I, I mean, I could give you the money I have, but it can't be from the orphanage. This stinks! I don't want anything from anybody! How rude. How very rude! Kicking me out of the only home I've ever known! Oh, I'm starving! I wish I had money to eat at Brooks Diner, but I don't even have a penny to my name. I'm so hungry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look for the dumpster. Score! I'm sure there'll be something delicious in there to eat. An apple! Delicious! I mean, it tastes a little old, but why would somebody throw this out? It's perfectly good. Mm, so good. Well, I better set up my tent for the night. Next to the dumpster seems like a pretty good place. I just wish I had a place of my own. Like a real house and a real family. It just makes me so sad sometimes I don't have anyone in my life at all. I mean, I'm, I'm so lonely. <laughs> and also hungry. I have to go back into the dumpster and get something else to eat. Mm, an old cheeseburger. That looks pretty good. Okay, there's just a little mold on the bread. I can deal with it. Uh, is that girl eating from the dump still? Ew, disgusting. Hey, what are you doing up there in that dump still? Oh, um, nothing. Uh, I, I could share it with you if you want. Just don't tell on me, okay? Share it with me? Ew, I'm not going to eat that old cheeseburger from the dump still. Why are you? Um, well, um, I'm, I'm homeless. What? Seriously? Did I stutter? Yeah, I'm I'm homeless and I'm very hungry. See, that's my tent where I live, and this is the cheeseburger I'm having for dinner. Oh wow, I'm here. I'll give you a little bit of money and a sandwich, okay? Uh, here, here's some takeout, and I put twenty dollars in there for you too. Seriously, that's so nice of you. Yes, yeah, seriously, what happened anyway? They made you homeless. Well, I was an orphan and I never got adopted. Really? I was an orphan too, but I got adopted by a rich family. I didn't. I I never got adopted, and then I turned 18 and I had to leave. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! Well, I hope things get better for you. Here you go. Oh, wow! Thank you! You're welcome. Good luck! Thanks! Bye! Wow! She said she was just going to give me a little bit of money, but this is enough money for me to buy like a house! Holy guacamole! I mean, it won't be a really expensive house, but at least it'll be better than a tent. Wow, a house of my own. Home sweet home. It might just be a camper, but I don't care. It's it's nicer than I've ever had. Wow, we. It even has a TV. That daisy person is the nicest person in the entire world. Well, I better get these groceries inside. Oh, I gotta be careful crossing the... Ah! Be careful! You almost ran into me! Oh, but I'm so sorry. My vision isn't like it used to be. Wait a minute. Are you that girl that was eating from the dumpster? Are you that girl that... That, that gave me that money so I could buy a little house? Yes, I am. 
My name's Stacy. My name's Molly. I just got back from the food pantry. You want to come inside for a hot dog or something? Oh, I, I'd love to. Let's go. Come on in. M -m my house is a, it isn't much, but um, it's mine. I know what you mean. I, I had a lot of money, but I downsized. My hips won't do the steals anymore. Yeah, I know what you mean. I like having a house all on one level. Well, it's, it's, it's very nice. I, I see what you did with the money was a good idea. Yeah, I never really had much in life. But I didn't mind. The one thing I didn't have, though, was family. And, well, I've always been sad about that. Oh, really? You never did find a family? No, never. Wait, I never had a sister. Would you like to be mine? Seriously? Wow! Oh, don't get me too excited. I'll jump up and down and I'll definitely break a hip. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Let's sit down and talk about it. Now, tell me more about yourself, Molly. Um, well, I I was rejected by every family who, who um, came to see me. Wow, that sounds terrible. Yeah, well, I was kind of a rebel back then. I've learned a lot since then. Well, I would love to have you as my sister. Seriously? You really would? I think you'd be a great sister. I think you'd be a great sister too, and I finally have a family of my own. Well, I'm just one sister, but at least I'm better than nothing. It's totally better than nothing. Hey, do you want to come over later for s'mores? Oh, I love s'mores. I'd love to. Wow, having a family is amazing. Would you mind if I brought my children and my grandchildren with me? You have children and grandchildren? Yes, that means now you're going to be an aunt and a great aunt. Oh, wow, it sounds like I have a huge family. You sure do. You're not alone anymore, Molly. You're not alone anymore. Oh, now I can die happy. <laughs> Molly? Did, 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 did you just die? I mean, I know you said you were going to die happy, but did, did, did you just die, Cappy? No. Bad hip gave out on me. Uh, Molly, should I do 911? Not for a bad hip. Get off me, Daisy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're already fighting like sisters. Yeah, it'll be fine in a minute. It just seizes up on me. See? All better. Well, I'm glad we can spend our final years as sisters. Me too, Daisy. Me too.